2009, millions of people worldwide took action for climate justice. Global leaders failed to agree a strong and binding deal at the Copenhagen Climate Talks, but the campaign is growing in strength and leaders now know that the world is calling for action. In this CAFOD report from Copenhagen, we hear why the campaign for climate justice must continue. The impact of climate change are already there. Every month people are struggling to survive for their basic needs. I'm concerned about climate change for the whole world. Um, I've seen the floods that are happening all around the world. We had some in Britain up north. And if we've got the money to fund all kinds of other projects and to sort out the banks, we've got the money to sort out the future planet. We need to work towards this. There has to be agreement that there has to be agreement which can support the poor people and uh, so that we can bring them up to a certain level where they can have a just, they say that they can say that there's justice in this world. Uh, having a, a fair deal that is equitable and that allows for the Kenyan farmer to be able to produce tomorrow, just like he or she used to do 10 years back. We, we thank people that are campaigning for us and that are campaigning for our agriculture and our poor communities. But we believe that these voices can be heard. And we believe also that this world can be changed. of climate change causing poor countries to be the ones that have to pay for something they didn't cause. But the point is that the climate crisis is a global crisis and we need to find a global solution. So that is what we are all about. Those who are most impacted by the problem must be the center of deliberations and they must be the center of decisions that we make in their favor, and that is climate justice. We don't need to wait more, we just need action. Action to, to help people who are suffering to survive. Mm -hmm.